just so you got the, the latest and greatest. Um, the ones that, that, that kind of matter, uh, Kyrus Jackson uh, has, a, has a knee bruise essentially. Um, it's, he's questionable to play in the game Sunday. We'll see how come those things are, are kind of tricky. They can be uh, pretty painful and they can linger um, or they can come back quickly. So that one sort of open ended up in the air. I'll just keep him at week to week for now. Um, Jabari Small is in the concussion protocol. You likely won't see him this week. Um, there's a long list of things that I got, but the main ones are the main ones. Um, I, I wouldn't, you know, Josh Wiley's still in the protocol as well. Uh, I think he's got a chance to get back this week. Uh, Kyle Phillips with the hamstring, um, probably out this week, but we'll see. Um, after that, that's the that's the main ones. Hopeful to get Stonehouse potentially some work, a, a punt or two in the game uh, on Sunday. We'll see where that's at, but that's the goal. It's kind of always been our target is to get him back on the field, that last step in the rehab process, uh, feeling some live action, you know, kind of plus 50 punt, let him hold a little bit as well. Um, so that's that's the that's the hope. I can't guarantee that, but we're hopeful to get that. Um, TK McClendon, he's got a turf toe. Um, he's probably going to miss some time, a couple of weeks, I would think. So he was having a nice – he played really well last night. We got the turf toe injury, uh, so he I would expect him to miss some time. Uh, Otis Reese is in the concussion protocol as well. Um, he actually had a really nice game last night as well. He did a nice job. So um, we'll see how, how how he comes out of that. And that is the main. Yeah, they, they both did good things. You know, I, I. It's good to see. It's good to see them both be competitive. Um, it's good to see Malik um, have some opportunities to to play a little more in his game, which was good to see. Um, he he does some things with his legs that only he can do. He ran for some yards and got out of some trouble. That was uh, encouraging. Uh, he can really throw it. He put some good throws out there on tape. Uh, Mason shows his veteranness um, when the you know two two minute drives, being able to move us in position to score, I think goes a long way for him. That's that's really good to see. Um, he's calm. He's collected. Uh, he makes really good decisions with the ball. And so that they both did really good things. Um, and, and I don't really have a lot negative. I think we'll let this thing play out another week. But I think they've both done really good things, both for themselves, just as, as a quarterback play. They, they put some good stuff out there. So uh, encouraged by both of them, really. And I think that, you know, this time next week, we'll be able to, to make a decision and determination on, on who the two will be and then what happens with the third spot. You know, if we keep three or if we practice squad three or if we just go with two. So um, we'll let it go one more week before we dive too far down that road. How much of not around? Is yep. he at risk of falling too far behind in this process? What do you make of him so far? Um, yeah, it's not good when you miss that amount of time. You know, it's it, can you make up the ground? Sure, it's not impossible. Um, but yeah, there's there's a there's a point where you know you'd like to see you, you got to get out there and play. And um, I think one of Cedric's strengths is that he's instinctive and just playing football is something that he's good at. And to not been to miss two opportunities in the preseason to see that um, I think is. It's tough for him, the injury. You can't do anything about the injury. It's not his fault. Um, but, yeah, it's that's just the nature of, of training camp and the nature of football is that sometimes an injury can hold you back. And, and the guys like James and Chance are getting a lot of opportunities to show that, that they're up to the task as well. So um, I wish I wish we had a chance to look at them, but that's just the nature of it. Yeah, I think that I think their trend, I think what you what you see with our starting group, which was, was um, – Dylan and, and Nick are trending in the direction as the in starters. Um, it's not over yet for sure, but um, those guys have, have performed well enough at that point. Uh, the moment we walk out with the starters against New Orleans, those guys will be the guys that are starting uh, this this week. So uh, again, I would sure Paul right to, to pull the plug on that one if I so choose to. But as of right now, those guys have, have been the guys that have played the best. Yeah, I think that I think their trend. I think what you what you see with our starting group, which was was. Um, Dylan and, and Nick are trending in the direction as the in starters. Um, it's not over yet for sure, but um, those guys have, have performed well enough at that point. Uh, the moment we walk out with the starters against New Orleans, those guys will be the guys that are starting uh, this, this week. So, uh, again, I would sure Paul right to, to pull the plug on that one if I so choose to, but as of right now, those guys have, have been the guys that have played the best.